So to say that I've had my battles with Inav and that the Nano Goblin has been through many battles in its three or four month lifespan would be a pretty big understatement. I have cracked the front a couple times. I recently just cracked it in half here. The underneath is all cracked up, but thanks to some extra sparring and beacon foam tack and just, I guess, the willingness to not give up because I love this platform and can't find any of them anywhere. After breaking it again Saturday, having all these problems with Return to Home because for some reason it would not work on my version of the AirBot Omnibus F4 Pro V3. So I put it all back together, glue, tape, uh, chlorpa chloropla so what I did is I had an extra CL Racing F4 Air V2 and I like this flight controller because I like the layout it fits the Nano Goblin perfect because everything is here in the back as far as your connections and stuff go your ESC comes in on this side power comes in on this side I run it all off this board I've had two boards go bad on me one the OSD chip went out and one, the 5 volt regulator that actually powers the FC up here, not the Beck, went out on me. So I was pretty bummed, and a couple months ago, I, or a month ago, or whatever, I emailed Chang and told him that I, you know, I had another failed board, and he was getting ready to go to China, and I don't think he's, I think he's going to rev up this board, and he's not going to make any more of them. So he actually sent me one of his own personal boards, and it had pins on it all the way through which I'd been previously you know soldering uh, to the board so I liked having the pins this time I put servo connections on everything so that way everything can be plugged in and if I have a problem with the board it'll be a lot easier to deinstall because all I have to do is just unplug everything put in a new board and plug everything back in that is if the design still holds true here um, you know, as compared to on the Omnibus, I had this kind of a mess here with the PDB and everything like that. I really don't like it. And a lot of the new boards are going this way. They're putting big becks in them and everything like that. And some people are against it and some people aren't. But in a build like the Nano Goblin that's so tight, you know, I've cut the top of this thing off like three times to replace the flight controller. So hopefully I don't have to do that anymore and this one just works out. So I finally got to, uh, let's see, it all broke down on Saturday, and yesterday I repaired everything, and I had really good calm air, really humid and hot, and got to go out and do some testing last night and trimming, and got everything trimmed out, all the modes tested, flew around in air, air mode a little bit, which I really love now, just kind of fly around with this thing but uh, do have some tweaking to do on the PIDs and rates and everything like that. So, but return to home is working. All that stuff is working and I am a happy camper. So we'll cut to some footage and I'll show you uh, some things that are going on. This has, uh, I have 1.9.1 on it now. So there's a couple things that are a little bit different that are nice. So we'll see you there in a second. So, first thing we got to do here, of course, with any INAV board, is we got to get everything all trimmed out. So, the, this was actually the second toss. The first toss went into the ground. But first to second toss here, you can see that when I let go of the sticks, that in angle mode, I'm dipping. So, I need to raise the value up on my flight controller as far as the pitch angle goes. Uh, so that way the offset will correct and everything like that. Here I switched into manual mode and used the automatic servo trim tab. And that worked really well. And I am now almost perfectly level in pass-through, manual mode, whatever. And then also just going to switch down into air mode and check how everything is flying without any type of gyro assist or stabilization or anything like that right here and everything flew pretty good I didn't have no specific PIDs or rates or anything dialed in quite yet I 
After a couple more adjustments, just tossing the Nano Goblin at almost full power into the air created a straight and nice and easy climb out, just like this right here. Very simple. And after all that was done, I decided to take it out a little bit and just flicker in the return to home and make sure that that worked and didn't do anything super crazy. And as you can see, it turned around and is flying back toward me. So I was pretty happy with that. So the next thing to do is to try it even further away. So on my way out to a kilometer here, Still have a little bit of twitch going on in angle mode there. I might need to check my left to right weight. Return to home, working just fine, behaving like it should this time. Returning to the left instead of turning to the right, so it's taken the easy way. I have this set to current, so it'll just turn around and fly home at the same altitude. And you can see there, right to the right of my OSD bars, that that is the, the correct altitude. It is holding there at 140 feet. And so if one kilometer works good, then two kilometers should work as well. So I flew out to two kilometers and hit the return to home and everything is working exactly as it should. Very, very happy. Now I'm just kind of flying around in air mode. This is without any flight controller assist. Pretty much just doing as low as I am comfortable with right now before I dial this thing in and definitely need to check out those PIDs and add a little bit more expo as you can tell but I was able to do some nice faster low passes of myself as you can see right there so everything was really fun and then here we go just flying around a little bit taking in the beautiful scenery actually flying around in air mode just kinda testing things out a little bit and just kinda enjoying things so that is going to be it. The Nano Goblin is back in the air. I'm happy. Everything's all good. We'll talk to you guys later.